Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing this Duel of the Roses challenge run. Um, something I should have done was make Water Emotics my deck leader so that I could get, um, just because it's the highest rank I have. Uh, mainly it lets me, at that rank, you can go and find, um, hidden cards, among other things. So, hopefully we can get a hidden card or two. Um, throughout this run, they'll probably help us, since um, we have such weak cards. Ooh, well, we have Cosmo Queen. That is a great start for us. Um, I'll just start by throwing down the turtle. We'll need that for the crab turtle fusion, so. Um, also, cards that we want from Joey. He has Monster Reborn, I believe. He also has Grave Robber. He has Copycat. Uh, most of these are quite good cards. I'm just putting down that- oh, the water emotics is a female, since I have so many females in my hand. Was that two equips on a creature? Oh, that is terrifying. One of these might end up being a Queen of Autumn Leaves. Probably will end up being a Queen of Autumn Leaves, honestly. Now I just need a dark spellcaster, and we can perform the ritual summon. The only problem is, is that he did double equip a monster, so that could be a 3600. Oh my. Oops. Y'all didn't see that. That's really bad. Oopsies. Um, yeah. I don't really have a good way to win the game now. I was hoping to win with Cosmo Queen. Hmm. Well, I can't play Cosmo Queen anymore, so...
The only thing I have is this one crab turtle. Okay, 2900 is beatable. And we drew the Tears of the Mermaid, so we can beat something that's slightly stronger. That was the card I was worried about. Okay, so dealt with the card that was too big. Now I just have to fight on, on this aqua terrain until we win. Um, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a game. He shouldn't be able to beat my creature, though, so that's nice. And there's nothing that really gets in the way. I mean, if he equips a guy of the Dragon Champion, I mean, we're going to have a bad time, but... There's still a chance we win. So we take those. Also, the music is glitching. It's not the um, video. I don't know why it does that, but for some reason on Joey it does. Okay, there's a champion. <clears throat> oh, I do believe I put that Hourglass of Courage in my deck, so maybe at some point we can get that and make this go a little bit quicker. I better have put that in my deck. Move this back. Let's see if this will be enough to get him to come forward and attack. If not, um, oh, it is. good. Hopefully, he just kills the Griggle. Hopefully, with like something like a Wing Dragon, that would be nice. That's kind of terrifying, but I can't do anything about it. It's also on the other side, so it's a long ways away. Ooh, a parrot dragon. That'll be a good thousand damage. Um, I'm going to drag that onto the sea terrain just to make it do more damage. Um, there's no point not to. I'm just going to spend a whole lot of time on this.
S. <laughs> now we can move both of these back one space. Um... I should just have this in face of defense or something so it can get some experience. I don't have anything better to do with that summon, so I might as well do that. Um... Yeah, a coin of Vaughn is kind of useless, so... I mean, I would like to duplicate it, but I'd need to get one first. And to get a Queen of Autumn Leaves is kind of annoying. Um, Bakura will play one against you, though, so there's a chance I get one from him. Although, that requires me actually being able to play against Bakura, so... We'll get there, I suppose. Um... Yeah, we have... Let's see if we can bait him out even further. That was one of the creatures that I was really worried about. That should just be a Thousand Dragon. I'm not too worried about that. Let's see if he'll, uh... Come out and play. I yay yay yay. Well, he's gonna come out and play. The problem is, is that I kind of would like to get through a couple more cards in my deck, but I also know that I'm gonna have to bait him another bunch of times. I guess I'll give it another like two turns of. Well, it looks like he's gonna come all the way over, so we'll just back it up. Okay, I, just in case things are a problem, I'm going to get rid of this to make sure that if there's a problem, I have plenty of time to deal with it. I don't know what I could really do about it. Maybe Curse Breaker or something? I mean, I know I can stall again with a Curtain of the Dark One, so... It is a 3100 Dragon Champion. That's what I was worried about. Um, Go ahead and do this. Those shouldn't fuse. I'll just put this in defense. That'll stun it for an extra turn. gives me probably three or four draws at um, a card that'll help me here. Ooh. Ask and I shall receive, huh? Card that helps me. Okay, 1,000 damage to me. I get to reciprocate with like 900 damage to him. Um, unfortunately, he hasn't played a single card that I actually want. Um, I'm sure there, some of those face-down cards are actually cards I want. Um, but... It's just a matter of I'd actually have to get over to them. And I'm probably just going to kill him here. Which is fine, because I'd rather get a win than get just a card I want. Looks like exact lethals. Okay. Um, besides the blunder with the um, Cosmic Queen Ritual, that went okay. Um, I kind of feel like I'm bullying, um, an opponent, though. 
Um, the Eclipse are the only thing that I kind of care about, and I don't really care about them. Um, Horn of Light is not great. Um, and Gust Fan's not really great for um, ritual creatures. There aren't many cards that are ritual creatures that are affected by either of those. Horn of Light probably has way more than uh, the other. But yeah, um, I think we're honestly pretty fine with the deck right now. Yeah, I don't think we got anything that really mattered, unfortunately. Um, not that I really expected to, so... Go ahead and go next. Um, now it's for an opponent that I actually want to face, because you could potentially have good stuff for us. Um, Also, somebody did suggest um, using Hungry Hamburger. Um, I pretty much just laughed at them. That card is horrendous. I mean, there's Yamatron for Salamandra, but I don't think anything actually takes Gust Fan. That's actually kind of sad. I should flip that. Well, there's a card I want. Yep, there's a Cyber Shield. Um, so one of the things you have to be kind of careful with against this opponent, um, is she plays a card called Dissolver Rock. And Dissolver Rock has an effect that destroys everything on mountain terrain. Which is absolutely brutal to deal with. Especially when you don't want to deal with putting stuff off of your mountain terrain over here. So first off, I need to get a ritual summoned. Hopefully she doesn't play a Dissolver Rock, or I guess it's shoddy, but opponent's a she deck leader. Um, but I have Queen of Autumn Leaves, and that's it for towards this Cosmo Queen ritual. I need a Princess of Surugai and a Dark Elf. I don't know why I'm getting rid of cards, but I need to dig, I guess. Actually, that's why I need to get rid of cards, is to dig through my deck. Hopefully, no Dissolver Rock. Oh, that looks like no Dissolver Rock, so... Here, we're gonna do this this way. I need to dig through my deck for, for some reason, Princess of Surugai. Or Surugi? Probably Surugai. I don't know what the etymology is. Oh, hey, Princess of Suru guy. Let's ritual summon a decent creature.
Oops, I should have moved that to the left. Oh well, it's fine. Just an extra turn of experience on water emotics, I guess. Um, there is absolutely nothing I want to do with his hand. I mean, I guess it's a... Um, it's one of these angles, right? I'm just going to face up defense this and let him attack me. Stone D. Excellent. Um, if I were to get a Millennium Golem from this guy, um, that would be nice. Because Millennium Golem is a pretty excellent card. For this, because then I can do Senge Engine fusions. Um, if I got a Millennium Golem, I'd probably transition over to Senge Engine plus... Um, Like a Senge Engine plus a uh, Super War Lion package with a Beast Leader. Terrifying. This deck only really makes, doesn't make the biggest cards, um, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Again, I'm just going to bait him in. Play as safe as I can. I don't think I need to play any more cards, so just let him attack me. Okay no way for him to have a trap for this so we just go yikes stop double equipping things sir Um, we'll just put this like this. Um, we'll face up defense the monster turtle. I'm guessing one of these two cards on the right over here are traps. I might take a bunch of damage doing this, but it's okay. I'm going through this mystical sand the hard way, it looks like. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised that neither of those traps, or that one wasn't a trap, but... You know. Some of those over there may still be traps. up defense this
Okay, let's pass. I would like to trigger a trap, by the way, because if I trigger a trap, I can get the trap. And traps are very good for this challenge. Okay, this card is not trapped, so let's hit 1300 right here. None of those are traps, though. It's honestly quite surprising that none of those are traps. I want a different interval here. So it'll come back across into my trap. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Other monster. This should have been face up, but it doesn't matter. Where are all my monsters? Okay, I guess that's five. Um. Okay, no trap, we win. So yeah, um, honestly, this playthrough has not been too bad once we got ourselves to the point where we could actually make a single ritual. Um, hey, we got one of the equips. We got a second. Okay, we're, we're doing good now. Um, Spring of Rebirth, maybe. Nope, that's a stone bee. Um, Spring of Rebirth would have been great because it would have worked on Crab Turtle, I think? Because that, that works on Aquas. Um, but anyways, we got ourselves, um, two female equips for Cosmo Queen. Um, yeah, honestly, if you were ever to actually want to make a ritual deck, the only one that actually is even remotely useful is... A Cosmo Queen deck. Um, all the other ritual monsters are um, pretty mid, is a nice way to put it. Um, okay, Red Medicine needs to go. Um, we don't need this many Snake Yoshis. So, yeah. Um, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.